Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to week 15 of Breaking the Fourth Wall. I am your host, Junior Ruiz, alongside my co-host for this week, once again. Patrick Fung. Thanks for joining me as well. And thank you for bringing me back. Or actually, I was just kind of sleeping back there. Yeah, you're sleeping on the cot. <laughs> Anyways, uh, as we stated last week, uh, in this episode, we're going to discuss some of the upcoming exclusives for San Diego Comic Con 2014. Uh, as we discussed previously, you know, this con is becoming something of, like, it's not even really a Comic Con anymore, so to speak. It's mm. more for, like, celebrities and collectors. Collectors. I wouldn't even say collectors, man. It's more like. Well, you have the cosplays, too. Now, the cosplays are now starting to make it kind of big over there, too. Oh, right. Um, I, I think it's just one of those things, though, where it's like. The collectors, unfortunately, have to put their faith in the scalpers this year. You know, at this time of the day, it's like, okay, this is the only time of the year that you can support a scalper because it's not like anybody can run and go to San Diego and get the stuff. Yeah. You know, so it's like being a scalper, I guess, pays off. Yeah, but if people do want to actually go now, you actually might have that chance as long as they're not sold out because they're individually selling the tickets now. They're not no 4D passes. So mm -hmm. for those people that were actually attendees, they were able to get those 4 day passes before everybody else and they were always sold out so if you were ever thinking about going to san diego probably a good time to kind of go if you have the money obviously yeah because it ain't going to be cheap i'll tell you that much no, it's not and especially when you're kind of adding in all the other stuff son of a bitch <laughs> oh my god what's left so <laughs> puta it's all right and we're going to continue on. I'm not even going to stop it because this is how we do it here. We just keep it rugged. Fuck, the phone rings, man. We're trying to record here and see what happens. Excuse my language, but damn. Anyways, moving on. Um, I had Edric earlier today pull up a list of a lot of the toy companies that are going to be represented at San Diego as, uh, as well as what they're going to have uh, available for the scalpers to provide to us collectors and possible uh, suggested retail prices on these things. So... Without further ado, what are some of the bigger companies that are going to be there, and what are they going to be offering? Okay, well, one of the bigger companies that has now kind of taken a big, uh, uh, I would say, a, a boost a, in popularity. Yeah, definitely. Uh, was Bluefin Tamashi Nations, which is, uh, if you're familiar with SH Figure Arts or SH Monster Arts, these are the guys you want to go to. to I'm all them. over those uh, Figure Arts Power Rangers, man. <laughs> yeah, so did I. Did you see the statue they announced, the Green Ranger statue? Yeah, I did see that. That's actually Sweet. really nice. Uh, Cloth, cloth clothing. It looks phenomenal. If I was in the statues, I would definitely. I'm totally getting it. <laughs> um, I'll get one for you because I know you're going to be like, dude, do you know anybody that has one? You're going to change your mind. Oh, man. You'll change your mind. They always do. <laughs> All right. Well, what do we got? Um, so one of the things that's being sold from them, you, I think everybody, uh, if you do follow Bluefin Tamashi, uh, Dragon Ball Z was announced that they're going to have this color variant that is based on the anime version when he's in the capsule. So that way you actually can see... Uh, that typical version. Now, it might or might not sell, but we're kind of estimating that well, it might... That's anything, isn't it? Well, yeah, you always take a risk of this depending, because, I mean, for color variants, it might be a hit or miss directly. And depending if it's, like, a popular one that everybody would care about, or do they rather have regular Vegeta color? It, if I were them, I'd go with smaller numbers on there. Because Dragon Ball Z is, like, a smaller following, in my opinion, than a lot, like, let's say, Transformers or Ninja Turtles or something. You know what I mean? It's a bit In of, my opinion. Well, I mean, it, it does have a huge following. I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan. Sorry, Reeds. But <laughs> it's more like, you know, like, okay, you have Dragon Ball Z, and you have, I don't know, He-Man or something. You know, or G.I. Joe. No, I can understand. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, because I mean, like... So if you're going to have a G.I. Joe exclusive and, and, and uh, uh, a Dragon Ball Z exclusive, and let's say the same company is putting them out. Obviously, you'd make higher numbers for the G.I. Joe than you would the Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah, because you got also your kid base, too, now. Dragon Ball Z, though, it has been, because um, of Kai, I mean, that's brought in uh, younger viewers again. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually shortened down the whole freaking episodes, because I guarantee you that when I got to the Cell games, I was bored as hell. <laughs> Not a lot. Uh, as much as the Cell Saga was good, um, it really got There was points where it did kind of drag. Well, buying a VHS for about $25 or 30 bucks, and I watched this stuff before this uh. stuff even came out to the States. <laughs> so you can imagine my upsetness when this came out to the States finally to try to watch it in English, and then it's like, well, we have the uncut versions. Is that a word, upsetness? Well, I didn't even know I said that. That's how tired I am. <laughs> <laughs> I caught that. I was like, upsetness. Only on comics remixed. <laughs> Anyways, what else do we got? What else are they putting out, man? Uh, they're also going to put out the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers armor, Black Ranger. I guess this is an episode. I'm trying to remember. It was one episode. I remember that. That's what I was going to say. I forgot the name of the episode, but it was one episode. He transferred that the shield over to uh, to Zach to help him out. And this um, was before Tommy actually got those powers back for a temporary time. Yeah. Um, 
I'm actually like I'm on the fence with that because I have all the SH figure arts Power Rangers that have been released minus the Yellow Ranger because she's not out yet. Yeah. Are you um, trying to get that? Are you gonna get the boy one and the girl one? Er. There's gonna be a boy one that's coming from Tamashi, and then there's gonna be the girl one that's the U.S. release only. I have the U.S. with the one that matches the rest of them. <laughs> okay. Um. And here's my thing. Like I would joke with everybody. I was like, dude. Watch, you're gonna make a damn black ranger with the gold shield. I was like, that's gonna be a waste of money. At least the armored red ranger wore the shield more than once and it yeah. made sense. But I was like, they're gonna make the black ranger and I'm gonna be pissed, but I'll probably still buy it. Lo and behold, he becomes an exclusive on top of that. So now not only do I have to fork over money if I want a complete set, yeah, you know, for a figure that <clears throat> I feel is a waste, but now he's an exclusive. So now that's even more cash. It is. I mean, that's something that, um, me and you were talking about that this is something I would do online directly. When you can't find something, you have companies, I don't know if everybody's aware of this, there's Big Bad Toy Store, there's CMD Store, there's Toy Wiz. Right, right, right. These guys can, it's not all the time you're going to always find reasonable prices, but you have to really think about are you willing to pay some of the eBay prices too, or even Amazon. And Amazon sometimes will overcharge the majority of those times that I'll go on an eBay and I'll just be like, how much is the bid at, or where's it to buy it now? Because it's really hard to say what's good, so I try to keep it within companies that I rarely deal business with directly. What else we got, man? Uh, we are cut for time, you know? Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Sorry, sorry. Keep going. All right, so one of the other things that we'll go over is Entertainment Earth. Entertainment Earth, um, that's another company you guys got to go with. Uh, they're going to bring out, actually, the exclusive? No, that's Diamond Select, but I think you'll be able to buy this from Entertainment Earth as well. Um, it will be a Star Trek Battle Damage USS Excelsior that will be exclusive and it's going to be going for about 70 bucks. Okay. I don't know if people like Star Trek. There's always it's two Trekkies, man. I'm a Trekkie. I'm a Star Wars fan too, so that's kind of hard. Um, you got the JM there Silent Bob. There can only be one. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, uh, you ever heard of the character Cockknocker? Yeah, the the villain in Jay Silent Bob Strike Back. It was a... Uh, uh, Mark Hamill. Yeah, they're going to bring out a little retro action figure of him, and he's going to be about 20 bucks. Yeah, because kids watch this show, I think. And if you're a kid and you're watching this show, why? <laughs> anyway, what else we got, man? Mini Mates. Now, I know those things are usually popular with people. Uh, They've got a small following now. Like the, the in, From what I understand and working here, I know Mini Mates, the popularity has died down somewhat. They're not as hot as they used to be. They're because not, Lego is now producing yeah, Marvel and DC true. characters, so the demand for Mini Mates has kind of died down a little. Well, they're going to bring out Walking Dead. They're going to bring out the X-Men Days of Futures that you're not going to be seeing from Hasbro as of right now. As what far else as um, Also, there's supposed to be a Sin City uh, Bloody Marv uh, action figure that's going to be coming out. Now, I think that's based on the movie, right? I believe so. Okay. And then uh, Entertainment Earth itself. Um... If you want to kind of jump in on the first Big Bang Theory, if you haven't watched the show, watch it. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck is this? Is Mike a, Tyson Mysteries? Yes, there is a Mike Tyson little, uh, I, I think it was like about close to like seven inches. It looks like a little Mego doll, and it's got gloves on it. I couldn't help but laugh. I'm like, but it's got his tattoo face. I'm like, so there's pictures of this on the internet? Yes, there already. is. There is actually an, It looked like it came from a Venture Brothers thing. I actually okay. kind of cracked up when I first saw it. What else we got? What do you got from Hasbro and Mattel? Because those are, I know, those are some of the big okay, ones. Okay, yeah, those are big ones. I know Pop, uh, Funko, they've got some of the stuff that I'm yeah. looking forward to. They've three things in particular. They've got the SpongeBob Leonardo which, with the Plankton Shredder, which I'm like, I'm, I want that bad. Um, they've got the Ghostbusters vinyl Pop figures. They've got uh, Peter and Slimer in a two pack with Peter already having Slimer slime on him. You saw the uh, State Pop. Yes, the staple where he's all pissed off and burned. Yeah. Uh, Hot Topic has one as well that's like the mid-grade between there where he's pink and he's mad. Okay. And like he's starting to get burned. Um, and then San Diego also has the three-pack of Winston, Egon, and Ray covered in marshmallow goop. And the one I, like, I saw. I want all those. Yeah, and I don't know if that's going to be a four-pack because I remember there was a listing for that, but they changed it to a three-pack. They, I, I Honestly, I don't know. Yeah. I heard rumors that they were supposed to make a Walter Peck uh, pop figure. That'd be interesting, honestly, since he only made one figure of him, honestly. I have no clue. But I'm looking forward for that from the Funko stuff. But what do we got from Hasbro and Playmates, man? Because those are always the big ones. Okay, well, Hasbro, I think everybody's aware. If you aren't aware, they're going to be doing a combination with them and Toys R Us. Mm -hmm. So some of the stuff you're going to be able to get through them and some of the stuff you're not going to be able to get through them. Uh, one of the things, 
at least this one is G.I. Joe Danger of the Docks. Now this comes with a flint that's actually based on the cartoons or ones you grew up with, not so much this modern one. Okay. Uh, and it's got a uh, Vamp MK2 that actually is revamped on the color schemes directly. Okay. Uh, Cobra Knight Landings, uh, or the Cobra EO with the uh, Cobra Knight Landing, it's just a what do we got Star Wars series wise? Because I know the Black Series got, well, we got the job. You already know the Jabba, Jabba Hut. And honestly, this sucker goes for about 45 online. So it's a question of how much they're going to charge it online now. And especially at a highest pro toy shop online when it does go up, it's going to be about 65. What are you guys kind of looking at about that? Mm -hmm. So kind of expect it to be around anywhere from 45 to 65, just letting you know. I know um, they've also got the thing that I, I know a lot of people, friends of mine, are looking forward to is the Infinity Gauntlet okay. Marvel Universe uh, set. You got that one, which is basically, you got the, uh, which one is that one? With Gladiator and uh, Star-Lord? I believe. Uh, or no, is Fox. that the Thanos one? I always got this one. Okay, no. The Gladiator the one is the Marvel Legends version. Okay, because Thanos and Perverted, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, the Knights of Unicorn Transformers. This is a really big thing on either or. Is that the one where they fucking look like rock stars? That looks like shit, dude. No, no, no. Uh, you're talking about this one for the Gauntlet one? No, no, no. Not the you know. I'm talking about Transformers now. I moved down because that one I keep, don't remember on so much. Because I know there's one where they're like they come with like guitars and they look like a rock band. They have the Mohawks and everything. Those figures look absolutely atrocious. Now I'm talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the live band. Yeah, coming out of the shells tour. Yeah, trying to talk. Nothing wrong with it, dude. Don't be mad. You know you watched that Oprah episode. I'll put it this way. If I have beer on me, I drink every single one of them. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I got the cassette. <laughs> um, you also got Jack Specific. is actually bringing up a 31-inch Shadow Stormtrooper figure that's going to be $50. I thought that's that was kind of good. interesting on that. that Jack way. Specific needs to like do something, because ever since they lost the WWE license... There really hasn't been much on Jack Specific, honestly. Right. It's been a kind of a... I'm kind of glad they don't have that license anymore, either. I mean, they've really been enjoying Mattel. Yes. Um, Thanks, Mattel. <laughs> yeah, just please bring us, like, all the figures if you can. Re-release some of these elites, please. That, too. So I'm not paying $100 a figure. Well, at least make them as a variant, so that way the originals can still keep a certain price. Yeah, because there's more I gotta buy. <laughs> you have to buy it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mattel, okay. Big one that's been a big uproar since he was announced was Doomsday is going to be coming out. Uh, mm -hmm. That signature collection that everybody was thinking was canned. No, it's not canned. For people that didn't know, um, the game it's coming out. It's just the last of the figures that are going to be directed toward ending this complete line of DC Universe Classics because I was one of the people that wanted this the uh, collection to go up and keep going, but people were so upset because of the Big Lots thing and everything, and they didn't really understand the politics between what was really going on and why there was a whole bunch of warehouse stock to Big Lots directly. Because a lot of people buy, like, when there's stuff that doesn't sell, they try to get it off the market from other people. From yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, so um, I know we're kind of short on time as well. Um, the other things is that they're going to have is that Hordak version. So if you want the little case that comes with it, you will be able to get that at San Diego only. If not, you will be able to get a lot of these Mattel figures that are San Diego exclusives with MattyCollector.com uh, in the beginning of August. So that is something to be aware of. Right. Um, and if you're an early access member, you're going to have a lot easier time than the people that are kind of hunting on that day, even though they haven't been as bad as of late, but things are random. That's the problem. Two of the things coming out that are going to be related to first the San Diego, then Toys R Us, that I'm personally looking for. One is the Power Rangers Legacy Lord Zed action figure. Oh, dude, if you haven't seen it. Yeah. I've seen it. I've seen oh, it. I, I, I was tempted. I just, I'm just Man. waiting for SH Figure Arts to say, like, yeah, we're going to bring out the bad guys. We're going to get you That'd be nice. Lord Zed. That'd be really nice. But, you know... We don't know. We don't know, so you don't want to take the risk. And the other thing are Listen the, to us, Buffin. Yeah, the six inch <laughs> uh the six inch classic team uh team and team movie, nineteen ninety movie figures. Yeah. Um, those are I'm psyched about that. Honestly. I am I am and I'm not. The face sculptures could be better. I've seen uh a lot more customs. They look so much more better. You know? Like they have a mix. They look like they're from part one, but they look like they're from part two as well. Yeah. You know, I was like, pick a pick a damn movie. Um what, what I'm really excited of, about is that San Diego is going to be the place where they announce Wave 4. That there's two bad characters in there. Yeah. And I'm hoping that those hints are basically Shredder as the main one that should be I announced. I mean, he's, but give me a good Shredder. I've seen, like, again, I've seen a lot of customs. People use uh, Marvel Legends and people use WWE Elites. 
It's a custom shredder, and they look fucking wicked. Oh, I've seen some of those, and they definitely should represent the cartoon with the silver. Yeah. Um, not so like an homage to the old one, but not so corny as the old one. Right. That's what I'll put it as. Well, do you know why a lot of those old figures were hunched over? You know how like shredder was like this, and he's like his spine was like all hunched over. I, I bought the uh, TMNT Ultimate Visual History book. And in there, they said the toy designer wanted the villains to be taller than the turtles. But Playmates is, ixnayed that idea. They're like, no, they all need to be the scale. Same size. Yeah, so that's why Shredder's hunched over. That's why Bebop has the big hump, you know. I'm glad you brought that up because a friend of mine was saying, like, if these figures are going to be a scale, I'm like, probably not. But if you think about it, you're going to crunch the figures anyways with the turtles, so. My, the, who do you think the other villain is going to be? Do you think he's going to be a foot soldier or do you think he's going to be Krang? Because it's one of those two. I can't see it being I would else. hope for a foot soldier just because bring out all the original figures that first came out that include Splinter in April sometime. Yeah. Because Casey Jones, I know, is a very popular one that's been, you know, at, out of votes. He's definitely okay. mentioned. How about re releasing more than t uh, four figures a year? You know? Because last I, year, I, 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 Bull, 2012, we got the first four. And then we only got 2013, two. we got Bebop and Rocksteady, and then we got re-releases of the first four. Yeah. And now this year, we're going to get the movie, the four movie figures. So what, next year, two figures again with the two villains? <sighs> the thing is, is I don't mind it if if you're on a budget. I mean, it's cool, but at least twice a year or something, because I'm going to be 45 years old trying to get the on. next figure. You know, like, come on. Well, if you're trying to collect the whole series like me, I just want to stick with just who came out in that first 10 back basically so okay. th that that's what i would stick with and if anybody was after that it'd be only casey uh crane and baxter stockman i think the next wave yeah it was casey crane baxter stockman general track leather leather yes yeah. uh, slash came a little later and I, I that's something i wouldn't actually touch. metalhead ace duck usagi ojimbo oh god and usagi ojimbo itself you can find different versions of him that even more based on the uh, comic versions that right. a lot of people didn't even know that was a comic book before you had the cartoon. Go for it, Um But also you got some stuff that's going to be coming from uh, Mezco. Living Dead Dolls. Not a big fan of Living Dead Dolls. Do I look like I am? What about you? Even though I'm sitting here wearing a fucking Minions t-shirt. <laughs> I should have told you about the Despicable. We are actually running out of time, but... If you guys want to look at this list, go ahead and Google San Diego 2014 uh, Exclusives Checklist, I believe it's called. Yeah, there's going to be, you'll be able to go under a checklist. If you go to Google it, there should be a guy, I think it's like figure something. I'm trying to remember the whole thing. Um, but he had a short list, and even so, you can always just put in San Diego uh, Comic-Con 2014 yeah. Exclusive Checklist, or just Checklist itself, just to get an idea of what's coming out. Not everybody's going to have the prices because those aren't announced. Yep, not at all. And a lot of them are speculations. Yeah, a lot of them are speculations. And like that Batmobile they showed, I think that was like the Arkham a, City Batmobile. Was it supposed to be about seventy or eighty dollars? Something like that. I'm not into it. I'm not buying it. I, 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 like I got a handful of stuff that I want to buy, including the Hot Wheels Darth Vader car. Which what is it? For forty bucks. Forty bucks, man. That's hidden. That that's. I mean, from what I understand, it's supposed to be one sixty four scale, regular size. Yeah, and from what I, if it's, it's like this big, I can understand. Then awesome, you know, but I don't think it'd be that big in forty bucks. No, including with what's going on with materials and plastics and everything that's being used, um, it's more expensive, sadly enough. But I, because me, I don't personally agree with the prices. Right. I, like that Batmobile that came out from San Diego uh, with the bat, uh, the uh, '60s Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't agreeing with that whole. Well, I got the Batmobile. I bought it at Toys R Us. I got it over. On Thank the you, online. Dave Bloomquist. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, like I said, if you want to look at more items, just go ahead and hit Google. You can find everything on there. Pretty simple. Uh, San Diego is right around the corner. Um. There's a lot of ways to go about doing it. Check online. Don't always go to eBay first. Yeah, that's the one people do, that and Amazon. But good luck to all of you toy collectors out there in trying to purchase these exclusives. If you get any extras, let me know. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, Edric, thank you for being on the show. Thank you to have me. Any guys and girls out there that uh, that want to talk toys with you on uh, social media, where can they find you? Um, I actually do have a Facebook page under uh, Braden uh, Funk. So can you spell that for the peoples? B R A D E N. And then all right. That's all you just got to do. If you want a friend request me and just talk to me, I'm more than happy to talk. All right. Well, for another episode of uh, Breaking the Fourth Wall, I'm Junior, my special co-host Edric. So we will see you guys next week, if I feel like it. Good night.